Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the different products and different items that I use to clean my house with. All of these products are non-toxic, so very safe, and they are very effective in cleaning. <laughs> these also are normally just right around your house and they're items that you use every day. So very easy. Some of these products um, not everybody uses, but are very cheap and affordable. So for those who are on a budget, this is very budget friendly and will help you in the long run. I also make most of my cleaning products from scratch um, or just use whatever I buy on hand. Um, meaning like baking soda, for instance, I don't necessarily need to make that into anything, but that it's in itself is just a cleaning product. So anyway, I'm excited to show you guys what I use, what I use it for, and let's go ahead and let's get right into this video. All right, so the first thing is, that's up, and it's probably my most used um, cleaning product, but is Pure Castle Soap. Now, this is a lavender scented one. You can get um, unscented, you can get pretty much like a peppermint scent. Um, lavender is what I have on hand right now and I really need to order some more because it's almost gone. But I get this um, at Walmart. It's 12 something for 30 ounces, 32 fluid ounces. And this gets me by for, I don't know, maybe two or three months. Um, I usually buy two of these so that I don't have to keep going to Walmart um, very often. But anyway, I use this for hand soap. Um, I just dilute, hand, I, to make my own hand soap, I just dilute it in water and put it in a um, with some essential oils. So anyway, I make my own dish hand soap with this. Um, I also make my own laundry detergent with this. Um, I also make my own, um, for those of you who know or have been here around, I make my own um, cloth wipes. And what I like, and for the spray that you spray the, um, or the solution that you spray the wipes with, I also use this for that too. So this is awesome. I also, also use this to clean my children. So this is their body wash. Um, so super effective cleaning product. Um, you can use this with all different kinds of things. You can put this in an all purpose cleaner if you want a little extra power. Um, and uh, I also like to, and by the way, you wanna dilute this um, quite a lot. So this is very, very concentrated soap. So anyway, this is the main product that I use and it's Dr. Bronner's Castle Soap. So there's that. The next major thing that I use like all the time is baking soda. This is pure baking soda and um, I don't really have it in the container, but I normally buy the Arm & Hammer, Arm & Hammer brand, um, but it's just pure baking soda and I use it on everything. I even use it as a little extra something to my wash. So I'll add the like soap um, or the laundry soap and then I'll also add this as a little bit more of it gives it a little bit more kick and a little bit more cleaning power. Um, I also use this in my laundry detergent <laughs> recipe. So anyway, uh, if you're interested in my laundry detergent recipe, uh, I have it. I can link it up here in the card section and you can check that out. But this is awesome. I use this to clean all my bathroom sinks, my kitchen sink. I use it to clean um, really hard grime on bathtubs and sinks and toilets. I use this as my toilet cleaner um, along with vinegar, which we'll talk about later. But I use this with vinegar and um, what I usually do is I, I sprinkle the baking soda over the um, the sink and then I spray um, some vinegar all over it and let it soak for a little bit and then after a while I'll come back and wipe it and it'll be so clean. This is the most effective cleaning uh, sink cleaner that I have had yet and I love it. It's also way cheaper than buying it in like or buying your own all-purpose cleaner. But anyway, so I use this, um, like I said, I add it to my laundry detergent and I also use it plain. So this is in a lot of my cleaning products like my laundry detergent Pretty much my only thing that I mix it with is the laundry detergent. But anyway, so I like to use that. Like that. Okay, so actually I forgot to mention one thing. When using baking soda, another really great use for it is actually as a deodorizer. Um, it helps, you can like, before you vacuum, you can like put it all over your rugs and it'll deodorize your rugs. It's also really good to deodorize your mattresses and do the same thing, whereas you put like just sprinkle baking soda over the top of them and then right before you're vacuuming it up or cleaning it, you uh, 
you sprinkle it on there right before you vacuum it up and it deodorizes a whole pretty much everything and so it's a really great deodorizer for bathrooms and stuff so anyway wanted to mention that just put that in there baking soda is awesome for a de deodorizer and the next big thing is white vinegar I also use apple cider vinegar which I don't have out at the moment but I do do that do the, I do buy that from Azure Standard but anyway white vinegar is what I clean the most with as far as cleaning vinegars, um, you can also use apple cider vinegar and other vinegars, like if your kombucha has set out for a very long time, you can also use that as a vinegar agent too. But anyway, I use white vinegar, it's pretty cheap at the store. Um, I buy this at Winco. And um, like I said, I like to use this with baking soda on my bathroom sinks and my kitchen sink and my toilets. So I'll put, I'll sprinkle baking soda in the bottom of the toilet and pour some vinegar in there and let that soak for a while and um, so that's what I use that for. I also use this as an all-purpose cleaner and what I do is I do a ratio of, um, oh my goodness, what is it? One parts water, one part, two parts vinegar. It's like one part, it's a ratio of one one I'm pretty sure and that's what I use to have an all-purpose cleaner with and so I'll use that to um, spray down counters and tables and chairs and that'll be a really good cleaning agent. It can also um, act as a sterilizer so it really helps to sterilize surfaces and clean them really well. It kills a lot of bad germs and so um, anyway yeah this, was, this is what I like to use for a lot of different cleaning purposes. I also clean my mirrors with it. I don't use Windex. I did for a while and I just felt that that was too toxic and so I went with just vinegar and I use that with like a 100% cotton cloth or something and that really works and it does a great job to my mirrors and windows um, I also use this I mean I use this for everything you guys like vinegar is my go-to cleaning like stains and hard to really hard to get like stains off kind of surfaces and so it really helps so that's the other thing the next thing is super washing soda. So this is really great for stains um, and really getting clothes clean. I use this also in my laundry detergent, um, but super washing soda is also really good for rug stains. Um, you can mix this with some um, dish soap and dish soap is actually even better for rug cleaning your rugs. But this is really great if you soak your clothes in some of this solution with maybe some, ba some um, dish soap. It, gets all those nasty, grimy stains out of your kids' clothes. It's awesome. So that's the other thing, and I only really use that for laundry detergent and occasional stains. Um, the next thing that is awesome on stains and acts as a sterilizing agent is hydrogen peroxide. This stuff is great. It's not just great for wounds, but it is also great for what it is, sterilizing surfaces, really getting clean stuff. You can also use this as a replacement for bleach. Um, I like to use this to, I'll soak this, I'll soak my whites in this. Um, occasionally I do have bleach, you guys. It's terrible. Um, but I rarely use it and I will only use it if it's like, I, there's no other way to turn and I will, I won't let bleach, normally I won't let bleach sit in my house. Um, I let it sit outside if it's bleaching something. Anyway, a little rabbit trail there. But hydrogen peroxide is a great bleach substitute. Um, it really does help get those hard and stubborn stains out, like baby poop when you have a little, little baby and those darn yellow stains, this stuff's great. Um, and going along with that, or well first, this is also really good if you want to um, really clean surfaces like door doorknobs and light fixtures, um, switches, light switches, and stuff that doesn't always get cleaned right away. But if you want to sanitize something, this is a really good sanitizing product, um, and so this works like a charm. It's also non-toxic, so it's always a plus. Next thing is dish soap. This is the dish soap that I use. It's Mrs. Myers. I would actually like to find a different brand, but so far. This is the low tox brand. I tried using Castel soap for my dishwashing or uh, dishwasher soap and it just does not work. Um, I mean, it gets the job done, but it but it ends up you like this stuff leaves like some sort of residue. It's not bad residue, but it's residue in my glass cups. I don't I don't like that. So yeah, anyway, I don't like residue on my clean on my clean dishes. 
So I use this and this doesn't have any residue on it. It's also non-toxic. So I use, um, this one's I think a lavender scent, but yeah, it's biodegradable, super pretty good for you. It's not gonna hurt your hands. Um, so yeah, anyway, that is what I use. And Judah woke up, so he's right here with me. But so if you see random things moving and hear things, it's him. But yeah, this is the dish soap I use. I use this for stain treatment. <laughs> this is my biggest stain treatment. Um, I just, as soon as I have a stain before I put it in the, before the clothing gets put in the wash, I put a little dab of dish soap on the stain, <laughs> sorry, uh, on the stain. And then I just kind of scrub that and let it sit there for a while. And then I'll put it in the wash. So this really works on rugs too. And like I said before, you can use that with the super washing soda and they work as really good stain removal agents. I also have a stain removal recipe if you would like, I'll link it up here. Also, it also works really good if you wanna mix those ingredients. But most of the time I don't have time, Judah, I don't know, to mix up ingredients. So this is just really easy go-to stain remover. So Judah put it down, he loves to say hi. Anyway, <clears throat> all right, so the next thing is essential oils. And the ones that I mainly use are like an orange scent, like tangerine or lemon, and they're really great cleaning agents and or fresh lemon. Fresh lemon kind of acts like a vinegar, um, but it's really good for cleaning, also sanitizing, and it's just really good cleaning agent. The peel itself is really good too. Another thing that I like to make, and I do not have the recipe out with me, or do I have them soaking right now? But a lot of times in the summertime when we have a lot of oranges and fruit, citrusy fruits, <laughs> I will peel the citrus um, peels and I'll leave them in, the jar, in a jar <laughs> and I'll fill that with vinegar and that'll be like a citrus vinegar um, all-purpose cleaner and it smells really good and it's just awesome but I haven't we haven't been getting oranges very often but I like to do that too um, so and then that's pretty much all of the products I do have one other thing that I wanted to share with you guys real quick um, and that is wood scratch fix this is just olive oil and vinegar I also have the recipe up on my channel if you would like to check that out this fixes scratches in your wood um, little light scratches not big ones but um, it kind of fills them in and makes your table look really smooth and shiny. So check that video out if you're interested in that. This is really great for after you clean a surface, a wood surface. It has to be real wood, by the way, too. It's okay, Judith. All right, so now that we're done with all the products, really quickly, I'm just gonna show you some items that I use to clean with. Um, I always use gloves because I have a type of dermatitis, never been properly diagnosed, but I have really dry hands and I really have to be careful with what I put on my hands. So when I clean with baking soda and stuff that is a very drying and irritating agent on sensitive skin, I use rubber gloves for washing dishes, washing sinks, you name it, I do it. If it has to do with soap or baking soda or vinegar, I always use gloves. Uh, the other thing is I use steel wool to clean all of my cast iron. I also have another video on how to clean your cast iron. So you can check that video up out here. I will link it in the description also, but um, these are great for cleaning your cast iron or, or stubborn pots and pans that have grime on them. Anyway, so these are really great to clean your cast iron with. Um, another thing is I use rags. Um, you, the best ones to clean using like a mirror would be like 100% cotton. Like you could take 100% cotton t-shirt, rip it and use that as a glass cleaner um, rag. Um, there's also these, I don't know what they are. I think they're like microfiber. I don't really like using these, but I have them and so I use them. They're not the greatest cleaning unless you're dusting. They're really great for dusting. Um, and I just use random rags that I have to clean toilets, to scrub down um, pretty much anything. If I really need something that scrubs more, I use a sponge. Um, you can get these at the Dollar Tree, Judah, <laughs> no, at the dollar store. Um, but this is really great for those really tough, you know, well, dishes for one, but those really tough spots. So that's what I use to scrub with are just rags and a sponge. Sometimes I use a toothbrush for the, um, like grout lines and under the window sills and stuff like that. Uh, the next thing I use is a duster. We have beams, as you can see up here, that are actually apart. 
from our wall and so we get a lot of cobwebs in between them and so this is really nice because it's really long i need to get a new one because it's broken but um this is really great i don't it was actually with the house when we got when we arrived here so i don't know where the person got it but i need to get a new one um and then i use a regular duster or i'll use this to dust services with so these are really great um, you can even spray a little bit of vinegar solution on here and wipe down like tables and dusty dust off, you know, desks and computers and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, anyway, that is what I clean with you guys. It's super cheap and affordable. Yes, Judah. And this is, I mean, I don't know how much it all is, but if you were to buy it all at once, it might be, you know, a bit much, but you know, little by little just accumulate these things. And like a lot of people already have baking soda in their cupboards. A lot of people already have hydrogen peroxide. Um, not everybody has pure castile soap. Um, so that would be something you'd wanna probably invest in. Um, but if you're looking for something that's way healthier for your skin and your dishes and just low tox dish soap, this is a really good brand. So, um, but all of these are really cheap. They're not expensive. Like this was two, almost maybe two and a half dollars. Um, this is a dollar at the um, Dollar Tree. And then baking soda is anywhere from, depending on how much you got, I, I think this was like five bucks for like a whole, like usually this is full. So, um, and then this is usually like three bucks for three pounds. Um, I'm usually, yeah, three pounds. I think this is usually like a five pound bag is what I get. Um, so all of this, like, like I said, is really cheap. The essential oils, um, I would just get them little bit by bit cause they can be expensive. If you're looking for a more affordable brand of essential oils that are actually real essential oils and are high quality, oh. this is called Nature's Alchemy. I'm not sure if you can actually see that. Um, I will link it in the description below, but it's on Azure, and so you can totally just buy these. This was, I think, they're always on sale, and so they're relatively pretty cheap. They're anywhere from like two to five to, well, two to ten dollars a, a thing, of, and they're pretty big. Like, I got these off Amazon, and I'm glad I'm not ever getting these again because they're not as good, but look at how tiny that one is compared to this one. So you're getting a really good deal. But um, those are cheaper essential oils and um, they're really high quality. So I'd highly recommend those if you can't afford Young Living or doTERRA. Um, I can understand your predicament because a lot of times I have too many things and I'm trying to save money on other things. And so essential oils are something I can't splurge on. So this is really nice um, and they are high quality. There's another brand too that I'll also link. It's a really good essential oil and it's all from Azure Standard. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, you know, cleaning supplies don't have to be expensive. They don't have to be toxic and they can be safe and healthy for you and can do a good job at the same time. These all are amazing. They do just as good um, as regular cleaners that, that are toxic. And I would totally highly recommend these. Some of them are even better than regular um, DIY or regular all-purpose cleaners or cleaners for toilets or whatever. Baking soda usually works way more um, than I would say a toilet, regular toilet cleaner or even Ajax. So, um, and it's way, way better for you. Um, and vinegar works great for surfaces and it's really good for an all-purpose cleaner. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment below what you think, what if you use any of these for your cleaning products. And if any of this interested you in where you'd like to completely switch over, I would recommend you just do it a little bit by bit. You can also do it all at once, but um, don't overwhelm yourself. And so, but little bit by bit, try and replace your high toxic products with no toxic products. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.